Alright guys, here with another RC update. So Team Corrali has announced a forest buggy called the Synchro 4. So I'll put a link in the description so you guys can check this out. Uh, so this is basically going to replace their Rad X4 that they recently had out not too long ago. Uh, this will be pretty interesting uh, with this offer for this. They do offer it in a couple of different colors. So let's take a close look to see what they offer on us and giving us in this package. All right, looking at what we got here, and I'll put a link in the description below as well. You guys seeing here that they're claiming uh, 80 kilometers at 50 miles per hour plus, which I believe it's actually going to reach that. It looks like it may have a new tire tread on there, which may actually be good. They went away from the previous tire tread they had on their vehicles, and the body style looks to be a little different as well. Now, this is, of course, an eight scale buggy. It says at a 10th scale um, off-road car price. So I think I saw it for $399 on the European side. So it's probably gonna be about $429 here in the States. Uh, here, you do have big bore shocks on it. Uh, these are adjustable, but gone, it seems to be, are the aluminum shocks. These seem to be plastic shocks uh, with it. But I've never had any issues with Team Corrali shocks um, actually breaking with it. It seems like they did a couple of updates to it too. Um, oversized ball ends, which is good for millimeter thick shock pistons with it. Um, and a composite uh, shock holder that's aluminum. It's got aluminum cap on it. So that's pretty good. Um, with this also saying new here, extreme shock towers. So they did go away from the aluminum ones, which is actually pretty good because a lot of their aluminum parts, even on some of the other buggies still and other vehicles still did kind of bend. So they did go kind of with maybe this, uh, this composite plastic or whatever right here, which is going to be pretty good with. I think this should actually hold up. Uh, we'll have to probably put that to the test and see. So it is kind of a new design. It didn't just take... Uh, the spark and make it into a forest buggy and put a forest system in it and they put a new wing and stuff on it. so that's actually pretty good they did that i'm glad they didn't do that because there would have been more complaints about it um with this i thought they were going to actually announce a short course truck but it's another buggy so you guys see here it's got four colors uh still offers that green <laughs> that just cracks me up with companies in green people like green but i just not a big fan of but they do have an orange color there as well uh looking down here uh, three uh, three millimeter aluminum brace are basically a center uh, tower tower to tower brace. It's gonna be on it. Going back to the back, extreme bulkhead bracing system. So that's actually pretty good. So it's not a complete plastic vehicle and does not have a plastic chassis either, which is actually good. Now, if you guys have never had a Tink Rally car, they actually perform good. So I'm not worried about the actual speed performance and how it handles. We are worried about the durability, but this one actually seems to be pretty good. And here's something that's new as well. They have uh, basically a pre-mounted motor mounts for it, uh, which could restrict the vehicle. Now, um, I know people get these and they rear gear them up and they put spools and stuff in them. So we'll have to wait and see what actual gear ratios you get with it. looks like you only have possibly about six different positions you can possibly put in this probably only three at the most but uh going down here cnc uh, four millimeter hinge pins which is good that's something that it actually needs uh, heavy duty suspension arms which is actually good uh differentials now you guys know when i first drove my spark the div kind of did go out um so it's pretty interesting with that but that was probably just a one-off fluke with that uh, high performance drive shafts and out drives with it as well uh wondering if this comes with the high voltage servo in it because some of the servos can use uh six point uh six volts and then 7.4 volts uh with it so they did they're doing this to all the models here they are updating the steering blocks with the heavy duty ones which which i'm glad they're doing there we'll never see what they had a couple years ago with that which is actually good too extra large battery compartment here uh we'll have to see about that too because one of the things about buggies is fitting bigger batteries in it, but this is saying 161 millimeters in length and 51 in width. So we'll have to see about this and the height is 38. So that's actually pretty good. And these are actually some new tires and stuff for it. Uh, this looks to be a pretty good tire wear, tread wear on it uh, for the vehicle and a pretty good design. So these actually hook up pretty good. I just have to get them and fill them. You guys know you got to fill that rubber and stuff on it. So I'll put a link below in the description so you guys can check this out. This is actually pretty interesting that they're releasing this. I'm believing it's probably going to be 429 US. It said 399 over in Europe. So and here's the electronics. It's a 2100 kV motor uh, with I believe it's going to be a 120 amp speed controller uh, right there with that so you shouldn't have any problems running this on forest at all it actually ought to be pretty good at the local track um just to run it locally and stuff and here's some more specifications for it so i'll put a link below in the description you guys put down what you think about this 
Um, as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video. Appreciate you guys watching.